Hey guys, Kush here with Exascribe TV, and today I want to talk to you about a topic called nutrigenomics. So there's a big buzz right now on biohacking. So biohacking is this whole concept of you know kind of hacking your DNA and hacking your genetics. And I, I really like that concept because you know I was watching this video by a guy named Dr. Bruce Lipton recently, and uh, he talks a lot about the biology of belief and that you're not limited by your genetics. And I really like that because that's something that I've always inherently believed is that you know your genes don't you know uh, keep you from realizing your future. You know, you're, it, it is not like your whole destiny is laid out by your your genes and your chromosomes. But a lot of people still get you know trapped in that dogma. So when we talk about nutrigenomics, the concept is that your nutrition or lack thereof can express or not express specific genes that are going to help you build more muscle, lose more fat, be happier and be healthier. So specifically, if you look at the process, let's say this is a cell. And right here is the nucleus where all your chromosomes and your genes are. Well, the, first of all, the, the signal is what begins this whole process. The signal in this case is your nutrition. So if I eat the right foods, for example, let's say I'm getting some good fat soluble vitamins and minerals, here they are coming in towards the cell that then interacts with the receptor. So you have this receptor that sits on the cell and it's seeking the signal, it's looking for that signal. When it interacts with the receptor, it then goes in and then it binds with a specific protein. These proteins, there's you know, 150,000 types of proteins or more in the body and some of these proteins will wait to interact to begin their behavior. So basically it'll interact with that protein, creates movement, that protein basically exchanges ions and this whole chemical reaction begins and Essentially, this whole chemical process makes its way down to the nucleus. So after it's gone through all these different mechanisms, the end result is that it gets to the nucleus. Well, what happens in the nucleus? Well, you know, like I said, when you, when you eat certain foods, these products will make themselves, make, will essentially make their way into the nucleus. And what happens in the nucleus is it, it binds to that gene. So if you think about the genes in your DNA, your genes are actually covered with a sleeve and that sleeve is a protein. So when these products make their way to the nucleus, they actually bind to that protein, remove that sleeve, and then that gene is essentially, that, that gene is a blueprint. That gene is a set of instructions to be encoded and expressed. So if you have a you know, so-called gene for fat metabolism or, or increased fat loss, then that thing will be expressed when you eat certain foods. And vice versa, if you have a so-called cancer gene or obesity gene that happens to run in your family, you're not a victim of that gene unless you support and endorse that, that type of gene to be expressed. So if you eat trans fats and processed foods, sure enough, that stuff's gonna make its way into the cell, to the nucleus, and that, that gene is going to be exposed and, and therefore expressed. So this whole concept of nutrigenomics, we're writing a book on it currently, it should be released later this year, and we'll keep you guys in the loop for that. Uh, but this whole concept is really that your genes are not really the predictor of your future, it's your behaviors, it's what you choose to do and what you choose to eat. So, moral of the story is, pick the right foods, don't eat processed foods, definitely don't eat trans fats, and be on the lookout for more from us on Extrascribe TV. Thanks again, see you soon.